Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the number of how to calculate the number of blocks that you are going to need for your project. Now we are going to use the previous video as an example where we have a two bedroom, single bathroom, open concept, living, dining and kitchen as our basic example. And we are going to calculate the number of blocks that we would need if you were to decide to build that exact project. But before we do that, guys, we're going to ask you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Just hit that thumbs up button, let the uh, YouTube know that, you know, you like my content, and that will, you know, let me know you like it also. And whenever I put out more content, you will also get it if you hit that notification bell. So go ahead and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. Okay, so the basic building block that we use in Jamaica is going to be 16 by 8 by 8. Technically the block really is not 16 inches long. It's actually 15 and 5 eighths but then you will have to put mortar in between and so the block is generally just called a 16 inch block. It is 8 inches wide by, by 8 inches tall and that is your basic construction block. You can we use what is called a hollow block in Jamaica for our basic construction. So to calculate the exact number of blocks that you're going going to need for your build. Essentially what you're going to do is simply calculate all the walls that you have in the house and then just add them together. It is as simple as that. Now in doing so you're going to remember that the walls are going to be duplicated. For example in the build that we have here if you look at it you will see you have two bedrooms that are 10 by 12 feet wide and so those two bedrooms sandwich a bathroom that is in the center which is is 8 by 6 so with that you are going to only need the two sides of the bathroom the two six uh, feet sides of the bathroom because the bedroom walls already form that wall the side walls for your bathroom so in that case as I said you are going to ignore the two long walls for the bathroom now in the bed in the living room section you are going to need the two long wall the two short walls the two 10 feet walls on the side and since there are no separating walls in the center all you're going to do is need those 26 feet wall now the walls are the house is nine feet tall and I have deliberately calculated it to be a little taller than normal because what we're trying to do as I've said before is the taller the house is the cooler it will be. So for our purposes today we are going to calculate each room and then we are going to calculate the bathroom then we are going to calculate the living room slash dining slash kitchen then we are going to add that all together but this is just for demonstration purposes there is a much easier way to do this and I will show you that later on. So first let us calculate the bedroom. Each bedroom is 12 feet by 10 feet uh, by 9 feet tall so when we multiply that we are going to get a uh, hundred and eight square feet now since there are two walls for the 12 by 9 that is going to be multiplied by 2 so we are going to get 216 square feet for those two walls and the walls that are 10 by 9 we are going to get 90 square feet and since there are two walls we are going to multiply that by 2 so we get 180 square feet so we put those four walls together and we get a total of 396 square feet. Now each block is going to be calculated at stated at 16 inches by 8 inches and we are going to get a total of 128 square inches. We then convert the total number of square feet that 396 square feet into square inches and when we do that we multiply it by 144. We get 57,024 square inches. Now because because each block is 16 by 8 you get 128 square inches so to get the total number of blocks needed for that one room you are going to divide that 57,024 square inches by 128 square inches and you will get 445.6 and that will be the total number of blocks needed for that one room so because you need two rooms, you are simply going to multiply that number by two. 
two now for the bathroom since the bathroom sits between the two bedrooms you will not need to calculate the walls that of the bathroom that are adjoining to the bedrooms you will only need to calculate the two walls that are front and back and each wall is six feet wide so it's going to be six by nine by two and you're going to get a hundred and eight square feet now when you convert that you're going to get 15,552 square inches. Now since as again each block is 16 by 6, you're going to get 128 square inches. And when you divide your 15,552 square inches by 128, you end up with 121 blocks for your bathroom. So in that rectangle where you have your, your two bedrooms and your single bathroom, that is the calculation and that is the total number of blocks that you will need for to complete that rectangle. Now using that same method we're going to calculate the living room and since we only need 126 by 9 and 210 by 9 we are going to end up with 180 square feet for the 210 by 9s and 234 square feet for the 26 by 9. So that will give us a total of 59,616 square inches and uh, when we divide that by 128 we end up with 466 blocks. So for a total of 1,479 blocks you will be able to construct this entire um, 26 by I believe 22 this entire rectangular building here. Now of course it must be understood that that you are going to have wastage there are going to be some you know there, there are going to be sometimes you're going to need an extra block you are going to have to cut blocks sometimes blocks will break and all of that so you may need to just get a few extra blocks on top of that the other thing to keep in mind however is that you are going to have windows and doors and so when you know the number of windows and the number of doors you are going to calculate the square foot footage of the windows and the square footage of the doors and then you can basically remove that total square footage um, from the amount of blocks that you will need but I wouldn't recommend that since as you are going to have wastages you're going to have broken blocks and you're going to have unforeseen circumstances where you will need a few extra blocks so simply to keep the entire thing within a manageable level and to have a, a good approximation of the number of blocks you will need simply do your calculations without taking into consideration the number of doors and windows and you can't go wrong from there I must also mention that this is from floor to ceiling this calculation does not take into consideration whatever blocks that you will use in your basic foundation work so that will have to be calculated based on how far off the ground your ceiling will be and how much how many blocks you are willing to use going down below ground level in your foundation so that can be calculated after you have either dug your foundation and cast it in or laid out your phone or dug your foundation and decided what if you are going to use blocks inside the foundation or not well guys thanks for watching that will do it for this video hope it was helpful in calculating the number of blocks that you would need and in any project that you may have in the future you may be able to calculate the number of blocks that you will need in that project as well uh, the next video will be about calculating the amount of steel that you would need in a small structure such as this and I will do it in two ways I will calculate it based on the traditional way that you would normally build a column in Jamaica and then I will also calculate it in the more modern way where you do not use as much steel but you would still have the same structural strength as if you had used those same huge numbers of steel so thanks for joining me glad you could make it uh, and mm. don't forget to like subscribe and share the video Videos. and guys a lot of people are watching the videos but you're not subscribing and it does help me out a lot if you just hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell as well so thanks very much thanks for joining me and you all have a great day